Welcome viewers, welcome to our Foresight TV. On brisk December day, junior high school students of Fazuo, southern China, convert a country park study to thwart the Chinese leader Xi Jinping, unfolding a red banner that declared their outing of walking classroom of politics and ideology. The short enlightenment of retracting the full step of Xi took his 2021 visit to the neighborhood, according to the state-affiliated local news outlet. Another group of youngsters in the northern coastal city of Taijin tortured a fort to reflect on the tragic history of Chinese people's resistance for foreign aggression. The tips are part of ramping up nationalist education in China in recent years, now codified into the sweeping new law that came into effect earlier this week. The Patriot Education Law aimed at enhancing national unity mandates that the love for the country and the ruling Chinese Communist Party be incorporated into the work and study for everyone, from the youngest children to workers and professionals across all sectors. It is meant to help China unfold filthy thoughts and gather the strength of the people for the great cause of building strong country and national rejuvenation. In Chinese propaganda officials told a news briefing last month, the push for love and country and communist party is far from new in China, where patriotism and propaganda have been integral part of education, company culture and life since the People's Republic was formed nearly 75 years ago. The Chinese nationalism has thrived under Xin the country most authorization leader in decades who has pledged the rejuvenate China to place of power and prominence globally and encouraged a combined wolf warrior diplomacy amid the rising tensions with the West. Ultra-nationalism has flourished on social media where any precept of slighting China from live streamers or comedians or foreign brands will face a fierce backlash or boycott. The new rule marks the latest Jinping efforts of deepen the party presence in all aspects of public and private life, but this time also follow of years threaten a COVID-19 controls in China, which ended in 2022 after young people across the country took the streets in unprecedented protest against the government and its rules. The new rule reforms the patriotic education will be blended into the school subjects and taking marshals as the graduates of all types of institution while parents at home are required to guide their children and encourage them to take part in patriotic activities. With the consolidation of power, he wants patriotic education to start early, said Alfred Wu, an associate professor at the Lee Kun Gyo School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. He said the move is aimed to cultivating a loyal mindset towards Xi from a young age, while also sending a message to the wider public that being focused on now is consolidating the power following the economic boom of the past decade. The new law also reorders cultural establishments such as museums and libraries, to be turned into venture of patriotism, education activities and tourist destination into places that inspire patriotism. Schools are required to organize trips to students to visit these sites which officials call walking classrooms and politics and ideology. Such trips were not uncommon in past but the law now officially imposes a legal mandate for the schools to do so. China has offered consideration legislation aimed at stamping out unpatriotic behavior, such as banning in discrimination national flags and insult to soldiers. And under Z, is recent years any dissent in China, even from the online comments that don't toe in the party line, is enough to land people in trouble with authorities. But the latest law appears to hint at the introduction of penalties for act not already punishable under existing law, according to Zhu Briping, senior law lecturer from Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand. For example, if states' behavior advocating glorifying and denying acts of invasion was and massacre and damaging patriotic education facilities could be subject to punishment, she said. Bureau Report, Fosac TV.